Okay, so this year I had a little uh, raised garden, but I had a square actually right in here. And we decided that this area wasn't a good area for it, but we did grow a lot of good stuff here. And I was able to really create a good soil from the dirt here. So, I'm, so I created this uh, elevated garden for my herbs. This is the north side of the house. And this is about a six by three and fits real nicely. Right here, I've got a little gate on the side of my house to kind of hide it. And it's right next to the uh, water purifier. But uh, this soil is, uh, is actually just filled with, with worms. Look, there's a worm right there. But basically, it started out as dirt. There's another worm. There's a worm. There's another worm. This soil uh, came out of my front yard very dry. But then I worked in a lot of uh, a lot of my vegetable waste and fruit waste, I blended it with a blender and I just mixed it directly into the soil and uh, you get a good soil replenishment there. And then the worms, they just, uh, they just smell that and they come up and they start to eat the dead plant matter. But this soil is, uh, I also, what I did also is I also mixed in peat moss with this. And that really helped uh, give it a real loose texture to allow for uh, worms to grow in there. Or, you know, to crawl in there. So, so, uh, so now this is going to be our area for lettuces and herbs and Swiss chard mustard greens, all the all those uh, delicate lettuces that we'll be able to grow here. And as you can see, at this time of day, which is probably 5, 6 p.m. in the day here, you can see how the sun kind of hits it a little bit there. Same thing in the morning. Sun comes up in the backyard. But you can see that this area here, you can see my shadow on the... Uh, the bed, I actually cut it in half and I moved it to the left side and I re re replanted a tomato plant over there with the hay. thought uh, if it can give us one more one more batch of tomatoes this year. So now what I'm going to do is prepare this the same way I did the other, but this is going to be a little bit different. And remember I was talking to you about the soil from my uh, front yard. Here's some more of that dirt. Uh, from the front yard. Look how dry <laughs> this dirt is. This is this is a uh, typical Southern California dirt, <laughs> uh, front yard lawn dirt. Uh, totally deprived of nutrients, uh, very little uh, plant matter, uh, nothing to hold it together. And you can turn this dirt into soil, exactly uh, of what I had just shown you and replenish it and reuse it uh, by just simply working in uh, some plant matter over a period of a few months and uh, some other uh, amendments like peat moss but you could also use shredded leaves uh, if you wanted to leaves don't break down as good uh, but here's some uh, Here's some compost that I made just recently. This is uh, this is about four weeks old, and this is just grass clippings and leaves and plant matter 
and kitchen scraps of fruit and vegetables. No dirt at all. Okay. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to bring it over here and that's going to be my base. That's going to be my base. I'm just going to pour that in. I'm going to pour that in and I'm going to I'm going to rake it out. That's going to that's going to be good cuz when the when the roots get down to the bottom they'll have those nutrients there to feed off of and then I'm going to start to uh, load this in there and again I'm not going to plant I'm not going to plant in this right away I'm going to wait until this soil I'm going to keep it moist and I'm going to keep working in I'm going to rake in uh, my plant matter and fruit and vegetable waste that I blend up in the kitchen and I'll show you that process later how I do that and basically the worms that are in the ground they smell all that up there and they come up here and they just invade and they uh, same thing as with this soil over here I basically dug it off the ground here and I put it up in here uh, normally I wouldn't uh, I'm trying not to you know till the ground a lot but uh, when it's necessary, I wanted to move, move good soil, soil that I knew was already filled with nutrients and worms um, that that I can start to plant in right away. So we're going to probably let this sit. Uh, look, there's another worm. So uh, we'll probably let this sit for uh, a day or two because I want the uh, I want the bacterial growth. To, uh, to get started here in case we uh, did some damage moving the dirt in there I want it to kind of start to uh, build its own little soil web here but uh, yeah so I got some of these things left over that I'm probably going to transplant this is actually just some seed from a uh, basil that went to seed um, here's another tomato plant that I cloned uh, here's a pepper plant that, that a caterpillar got a hold of. Uh, there's some type of lettuce, some arugula or something, and a beet and some spinach. And then there's a few sprigs of uh, Swiss chard there that might make it. And then i got to figure out what I'm going to do with that rosemary. This I think I'm eventually going to plant back in there because this is a Italian parsley. And the root system on this is really vigorous. I didn't realize how vigorous it was, so I don't want to put it up here because it'll take over the whole. <laughs> it'll take over the whole thing. Um, all right, so that's it right now, and uh, I'll let you know what's going on later. Bye. <laughs>